each individual stick or the likes. Let's start with the mace bell. So here you see it. It also has the weight somewhere on it. I think it's here. So it says four kilograms and it has a heavy knob, of course. And then you have a, a steel tubing towards the end. This is a Crossmax maze bell, four kilograms. So you could swing this in L types of things, also 360, but I don't want to hit the dog. And if you look at those plastics, in particular this African walking stick, as you can see here, it also has a flat area, and as you can see, it can also stand on its own, quite in balance, like the other uh, CS product as well. But even if you want to, you could place it, if you balance it out, probably on the top, if the dog stays away from it. But either way, um, so you have a walking stick, quite sturdy. Also, you have good room to hold it, uh, if you want to... Um, use it in a different way for example to push something away it won't slip uh, that easily also it has uh, here it says african walking stick and also has a nice uh, non-slip uh, foot on it of course you can always saw this this is just polypropylene plastic so if you are a little bit uh, shorter you can uh, saw it off It has a similar design as the walkabout. It is the walkabout as you can see here depicted. Walking stick, but this is um, also polypropylene. So the benefit of polypropylene is that it doesn't rot, it doesn't bend, it is quite sturdy. But this is a more simple design. For a pure walking stick, I think this is a better one for most people. Why? Because uh, the knob on top is not it's extremely big as the other knob is. The African walking stick is a little bit shorter, but also the knob is a lot uh, bigger. So it uh, takes a little bit more toll of your hand. But I must say that even this with all those uh, little points is still quite comfortable to the hand, but this one is a bit better. Another benefit is that the uh, it is a little bit uh, longer and also if you want to slide it, especially with a fitness tool, this could prove some uh, beneficial uh, properties because you can easier slide than with all the resistance you get from the African walking stick of course. But this also gives more grip, so it depends on what you want. Then to the small uh, steel tube walking stick, it has a little bit of um, Fry bar head, as you can see here, and the benefit is that even though, though it's a very small pry bar, because of the leverage you can gener generate with this um, steel tube, you will of course ruin the steel tube. But if needed, you can pry a little bit better than with yeah, just a small amount of pry bar that's in there. It also has a PVC pipe in it so that it doesn't shake, as you can hear. So it's very nice. Uh, detailed and this is just a little bit of bend because of course it's not nice and it's cool that you have direct contact with steel. This is also very heavy. Uh, this is the heaviest walking stick as compared to all the others except this one which is not a walking stick. This uh, might be the second heaviest. This is uh, yeah, just a more of a show of gentleman type of uh, walking stick. Very elegant uh, tip. As you can see, and then it uh, tapers up a little bit. Also very nice uh, work on the handle. The benefit for such a design is that you can, um, the other one you had to hold as a knob, eh? but this you can uh, like more of a pistol grip. So it's easier for the hand, you have some more positions you can position it in. And also the benefit is you can lean on top of it if needed. So that's a benefit that you will also see with some of the other uh, walking sticks of similar design. For example, this one, also CS Sir, Siri uh, walking sticks. 
as you can see they tried to resemble a little bit of the axe head in the past also they had walking sticks with, a with real axes on top of them so if needed they could chop a little bit but this of course is completely blunt but it still has some of the benefits also this is not a sharp a q-tip very nice design it also resembles it a little bit more of an axe handle so it's more of an elliptical uh, shape so to say it is even better to lean upon because you have more surface and more better area especially because this side is also elongated a little bit i really like uh, how this feels in the hand it's like a little bit of a hammer or an axe handle this is more of a traditional um, traditional shepherd like like of stick so it has more of a curl instead of a flattened area the flattened area i like a little bit more because this uh, has some drawbacks in how it feels you will slip a little bit to these sides whereas if this is more flattened out this will help a lot the benefit however of this one is it's very elegant as you can see it's everywhere as a as the same width also the benefit that you have a little bit of a hook if you need to for example climb and you have to pull somewhere on a branch or something you have quite a, a good chance that this will stick if needed also a little bit of additional grip here a little bit additional grip here on the tip and also again here which i like a lot also this one can be made to the size that you want this is from the united series also a very nice light good walking stick and you go again to uh, uh, aluminium this one is uh, a hollow design so you can just screw it off if you need it uh, to be short or longer this is nice you have a little bit of concentration tip here if needed where you can um, break for example window but this is just a sturdy stick and also very good to lean upon because you have the flat area again and this is also a nice knob keeping in the hand the survival situation if you don't need shelter well, otherwise i told you i think the umbrella could be better this could be a very nice one it has some tools like for example the, the compass here also the window break at the other side and you can screw it open and then you will find for example a saw so if you need to saw something also it's lighter still than this one but the tip is not good for urban environment because it's far too pointy it's more of an off road type of walking stick it could be very good also you see here a little bit of uh, damage to the paint you see the aluminium coming through so that's what it is but a very nice uh, walking stick it's also easy and you can collapse it in smaller parts and take it into a backpack if needed. You hear the saw, I think. And this walking stick, this is perfect if you need a, a walking stick for a situation that you, uh, you don't know if you need it just for light work. Also very easy to collapse. This is weighing uh, almost nothing. This is by far the lightest walking stick and as I told you, very easy to put to a different size as you can see here for example just with this knot but you can also collapse it to a extremely small size so as i'm going to show you here so it can be collapsed to about half the size that it originally had and then you can just get it back to the size that you need also for example if you take this with you if you have an injury you can still lean upon it but also use it for your children because you can easily make it to any um, size that you need so this is just your traditional type of uh, umbrella this is the lightest of the tree that you see here also you see that the, the core is still steel but can be bendable but still quite robust it's an old timer also quite a cu acute tip which can be beneficial if you're walking uh, off-road but less so on the on the streets because you, because you don't have the rubber tips that most of those walking sticks do have and it will bend over if you press too hard on it the benefit of this is that you have a little bit of the hook it's like in the shepherd uh, style walking stick so that gives you a little bit more grip but uh, as i mentioned it will still give you a little bit of uh, movement it's leather so it's quite anti anti-slip 
and also you could use this as a little bit as a hook which can help of course then the next uh, umbrella is a very elegant one as I mentioned more of wedding type material also very nice anti-slip material on the handle so you can use it like this if needed but also and also keep it as a of course an umbrella but also use it as a knob although it's a little bit small to fill in your hand it also has a little bit a broader tip also this is broader as compared to the other one as you can see so it's a lot more sturdy but talking about sturdy there is always the neck steady also the length is too high as you can see it's the highest of them all so with a walking stick you don't need them to be too high this could be good see you can still rest upon it but it's not too high you see uh, a lot bigger uh, head to use also this could i think because it's quite strong and also seems to be of uh, steel could help if you need to uh, open a window for example it's not a hammer of course but could help and also the design is a lot more sturdy and also here you see the thick uh, polypropylene shaft so it gives you flexibility and also strength and also the tip has a little bit of plastic like rubbery like uh, tip so it gives you a little bit more traction and also looks nice and this tip is even broader than the elegant robust one as you can see also next to each other the handles see even if you compare this with that you can still see that it's a lot more thick well i hope you like this video it's a little bit of uh, yeah, a show video i knew uh, in the past there was a youtuber called uh, cinema warrior something like that he has a dvd collection so he liked uh, the cinema movies but also like uh, yeah walking sticks or something else so uh, too bad he doesn't put out uh, that much uh, content anymore but perhaps this is nice to uh, keep you happy have a great day all bye bye